Hey guys, it's Nikki again, back with another video. So for today's video, we're doing this purple monochromatic look. And I have to say, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. We're using one palette, two shades, and doing this. If it's your first time here, thank you for clicking to watch this video. And if you're returning, uh, I don't know what to call us. Thank you for coming back. So for today's video, I'm in the mood for purple. I'm in the mood for the color purple. Pull your purple today. We're going purple. We're doing a purple, well the plan is to do a purple monochromatic look. And let's jump right in. For today's video, I have pulled my way underused Jackie Ina and ABH palette. I don't want to blind you. This palette is so bomb and didn't get enough love on YouTube, in my opinion. So, we're gonna love up on her today, but mine is loved as you can see. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Ginger, which is this perfect crease shade for my skin tone so the next shade i'm gonna go into is supreme which is a pink supreme is this one i'm gonna go into supreme and i'm just gonna work my way down to the purple so and i'm not gonna use a lot that's a little bit if you a swirl or swirl you know do you supreme is it's pink, but when you put that purple on your eye, it's gonna pull purple. So just buff that. And I make my own crease because I have hooded eyes. And I'm not putting much there because I'm going I'm ready to get into the purples. Let's get into the purple. We said purple. So I'm going into Big Wig, which is a matte purple shade. Looks like this. Looks like my, my little cami under there. And I'm gonna tap the purple in first. And this brush is kind of narrow, but a little fluffy. So I'm gonna use this to deposit the color because I want it to be pretty intense. So after you've reached the des desired opacity to the purple, we're gonna go back into our fluffy brush and just tap into Supreme. And I'm gonna go up in here and just bring it around to soften any harsh lines around the edges. So now I'm gonna go on the lid. That was quick, right? Yeah. And this is Shookington, which is the purple shimmer in the palette. Shookington. And I'm gonna pack that on the lid. With, I got this double-ended brush. I'm sure it came in the palette like that you can wet it if you want to these shadows don't have to be wet but if you wet them they're even more intense but look at that you get what you need just from lightly tapping you don't even have to press hard abh just gives it to you straight up gives it to you no chaser We're looking good, looking good, looking good. And I'm just gonna put a line on my lash line. You don't have to. You can wing it out if you want to. It 
looks good to me. So we have a liner and I'm going to throw on some lashes and I will be BRB. Okay, so we have liner on, we have lashes on. Now let's get into the face. So for foundation today, I pulled out my Pat McGrath Skin Feta Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I haven't worn this in a long time. Like I said, I haven't been wearing foundation through the damage. But it's super lightweight. The finish is beautiful. It has, I'm not sure how many colors, but it has a nice range. It has a nice color range. And this is, I believe, one of those foundations where you can wear more than one shade, which is always a plus. So if they don't have the Deep 29, you can probably go to whatever the next one is down and it'll match you as well. Now we're going to go into concealer. So the last couple of videos I used this dose of colors um this is your meet your hue concealer and this is super light but my urban decay does not give me so much of a highlight i use it more to cover any darkness i have under the eyes but today we're gonna actually highlight I'm not gonna put too much just a couple of dots go here and I also learned that this concealer, you can't let that sit like I normally do, but mixing it, it should be fun to sit. This is the first time I'm doing it like this, where I put this down first and then my, my uh, Urban Decay. And I like my Urban Decay because, well, I liked it even before the whole mask era, but with a mask, it does not, it doesn't budge you see a little bit in your mask but it like it doesn't move around too much and I really like that about this concealer and they have corrector shades in this concealer like in between and this one I believe well it works for me as a corrector shade because it has some red undertones so I'm just kind of going to kind of wrap this around that light concealer. So that it's not like mega bright. The flower powder in yellow is for brightening. And then the Pat McGrath is pretty much to like make sure it's set set. So I want to brighten a little bit. So I'm going to take that powder first, the yellow one. And I'm gonna, it's a dry beauty blender. I'm just doing that while my other stuff sits. And I'm gonna go down my nose, cause I do wanna highlight. I'm gonna go on my chin and a little on my forehead. So for more mature skin, I would not advise baking all the time cause it just dries you out even more and your skin tends to be a little bit drier as you get older and in the colder months and it's like i said it's kind of cold outside today so you don't want to be super super dry and we're going to use a dewy setting spray so that'll kind of come back and put some moisture back into the face and even though i didn't pull the concealer into my smile my smile lines when i put it on i'm gonna dab it over my smile lines and then I'm going to start to blend out the under eye. And we're mixing the bright in with the skin tone shade. And I'm not going to pull it all the way out, you know, out here. I'm going to just kind of stop it there. Take the butt because it has foundation on it. And go around. See how seamless that is? Beautiful. But I'm going to go around the edges with the butt to just blend it. So see, we're bright and nicely, but not over bright. And now I'm going to take that sponge with some of the yellow powder, but I'm going to tap some off. 
and go up under the eye and I know it looks like a lot but it's really not tap okay I got more on that side okay and then I'm gonna take the tip 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 of the bee blender and go on the sides of my nose and then just take what's extra and go around my mouth and then my cell lines I'm not gonna over powder so then I'm gonna take that Pat McGrath powder and I'm just gonna dab even tap off a little bit and just sit that up under the eye tap off and sit it there today I'm just gonna bronze But first, before I bronze, let me go ahead because I haven't set like the apples on my cheek or up in there and I want everything to blend together. So I'm gonna take this cream blush by Fenty Beauty. I used it in another video, but today what I think I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna take the butt of this beauty blender and this beauty blender is dry because with a dense brush, I didn't get as much payoff as I would have liked to and it kind of got messy around the edges so I'm gonna take this and they do have a beauty blender made they have beauty blenders made just for blush so this is what it looks like there cuz I want color today I don't I don't, I don't want to play around I want purple so I'm gonna tap this in and I'm going up and it is a cream blush. So you will have like a little, you know, it will look kind of balmy. But I think that application was way better than when I did the brush. So again, I'm gonna tap into it with the bottom of this dry beauty blender. And then I'm gonna tap it on my cheek so now I'm gonna bronze and for my bronzer I'm gonna use my OG uh, ABH bronzer in mahogany I bought my bronzer at Marshall's I want to say for like six dollars even though this bronzer is still on the shelf in Ulta for full price which is full price is 20 something dollars I want to say yeah I got mine for six bucks why does it, I hear something moving in here? Hmm. No, but it looks like this. And I'm gonna bronze up there just a little bit. Up there. Put some dimension back into the face. And then I'm gonna go to the side and I'm gonna go right above where I put that powder strip and underneath the blush. And same thing over here put those shadows in the face and I'm gonna go underneath the powder then we're gonna start to sweep this powder wait wait before we sweep it away let's work on that bottom lash line so I have my handy dandy pencil y'all know I love pencils for adding color to the lower lash line it's easy you don't have to be precise with it um you can go in your waterline i just choose not to i like it better on my lash line and i'm gonna just start to just put it under there don't have to be neat look how easy that was just like that And I'm going to buff and buffing 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 for me just smooths everything out makes the face look kind of airbrushed I'm using my hourglass mineral veil powder for that just smooths everything out bring ties everything together if you have pores or textured skin, buffing is a great technique to kind of camouflage that. 
So I'm just going in the cap because you don't need much. And I just go over the whole face. If you don't like all that much shine on your blush, because that is a cream blush, so it does have quite a bit of shine. It'll tone it down, go up under the eyes. And this is just a real light, light, light technique. You don't want a whole lot of powder. Like I said, I normally work out of the cap. Uh, and today I'm gonna do a highlight because we're doing the most. So I have a highlighter I got in a BoxyCharm. Here we go with the BoxyCharm stuff. This is an Ofra Collab highlighter. Oh, it's a Nikki Tutorials um, collab. What's the name of it? Nikki Tutorials collab. Oh, Glow Goals. I thought it was, um, what's the other one she did with? I think it's called Blind the Haters. But it looks like this. So it's kind of, it's champagne-y, but it looks rose gold from one side. Then it looks yellow gold from one side. So it's pretty. Never used it. We're going to. Let's see, I'm going to start high, well start in the middle and go up into the temple. Same thing on the other side, I'm going to start pretty much at the top of the cheekbone and wrap it around. So that's that and then I'm going to line my lips. I have a lip, another Marshall's Fine Girl girls and guys if y'all don't go to marshall's and look around for makeup because i mean it's some good finds at marshall's and tj maxx i think there's somebody here on youtube that actually does videos where they take you to tj maxx and marshall's with them and show you what they have i find a lot of good stuff at marshall's i don't really uh frequent tj maxx as much but marshall's yeah it's right next to my ulta i'm going to ulta when i finish this video So I'm lining my lips with Chestnut by MAC. I have a NARS, what do they call these? These are the Power Matte, uh, Power Matte Lip Pigment. And I have this in the shade Wild Night. This was another, I'm looking for the sticker. This was another Marshall's fine. The box looks like this. I've had one of these before that I really enjoyed. I can't even remember what the name of it was, but it was a, a nude, of course. But it looks like this, and I thought it would be super pretty for today's video. I, I know the one that I had before that was a uh, nude. It didn't really dry down completely, so it will move around. Um, but if you're okay with that, then fine. Nude is easier to wear if it moves around with a mask on versus a deeper color. But today I'm I'm gonna wear a black mask and YOLO. So my lips align with chestnut. I do line heavy just because that's what I like. pretty watery I don't remember the other one being like that I'm gonna use my benefit there real I know I always use my thrives cosmetics I normally layer the two I might I might not we'll see but I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line has a ball on the end if you can see it and mine's is starting to get a little um a little tacky which i like mascaras best when they're at their tacky point because they're not as wet and don't move around so guys this is our final look with the jackie Aina abh palette 
I want to thank you guys so much for clicking to watch this video. Thank you for rocking with me for another another look shopping our stash. If you enjoyed it, thumbs this video up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And I had fun today. I had fun doing this look, shopping my stash once again because, like I said, they keep coming out. Same stuff, different background palette, but it's the same thing. You have it in your stash, so shop your stash. It's okay to buy new stuff, but shop your stash. So until next time, bye guys.